Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're at Downtown Disney. Right now we're in the parking lot, but some pretty cool like news I just we just saw that uh the parking's free. It says free passage on the little like sign we have to push the button and get the ticket out. There's also like none of those uh those yellow bars that like stop you from you know going. Those are gone, those have been removed for now. But uh I'm not sure how long the parking's gonna be free for, but if I find out, I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, come to downtown Disney. Just all right, so we finally made it through security and uh, we're just walking through downtown Disney right now. It's a lot quieter here than usual. Uh, usually it's like, you know, people walking around and talking and right now it's not too bad, look. It's like Jazz Kitchen right there. There's, there's people, but it's just not that much compared to like usual. It's so weird to see, like, I don't know. This is uh, the restaurant Tortilla Joe's and that's pretty empty as well. There's a few, there's like one couple right there. And then on this side, there's like literally nobody. So far from what I can see, all the uh, stores are open. Like right now, we're about to head to Wonderground Gallery. That's open, so is the Home Store, Splitsville, Black Tap's open. Uh, as I mentioned, Jazz Kitchen, Tortilla Joe's. So far, that's open as usual. All right, so usually uh, when coming to downtown Disney, lately, we've been coming here to look for like art for our room. And uh, recently I bought, where is it? I bought a Mandalorian painting. Well, it's not a real painting, it's like a print, but is based off of a painting. I bought this one, I have it in the room. Just want a better spot to like film in the room. But yeah, that's how it pops here. There's a Disneyland Parks exclusive, Indiana Jones. Here's some more of the art that they have here. One day I will own this. I love this. The, the, the colors are so beautiful and vibrant. I think it's about 40 bucks, so it's not too bad. And then you can use your, uh, your annual pass discount here. That's a really nice find. We're a huge fan of Up. And that looks really nice. It looks like it was drawn by Crayon. Like the house, like, it's really cool. Oh yeah, Kevin, the babies. They got Doug, the handprints, and the adventure book. It's really nice. I think it's $39.99. All right, you can still buy your sprinkles cupcakes, if that's your thing. Uh, Katal, Katal, still open. Black Tap is still open. You can still get some pretzels at Wetzel's Pretzels. Salt and Straw looks open. I think the doors are closed. Oh no, it's open, it's open. I think we're about to go check out Marceline's Confectionery. This is like, literally, it's like walking into like the Candy Palace at Disneyland. So if you love like the Disneyland like snacks and stuff, it's like the perfect solution to go into that because you know, they're closed right now, but. Like they even have like the Easter apples, the wizard apple. They have more of the Easter stuff, cake pops. So this is at the dress shop. We're outside of it actually. And then they have like this new backpack. I posted this on Instagram like, I think like a month or two ago. And it's finally here at the parks. It was like available on Shop Disney, I think January 31st though. But I think it just hit the parks now. All right, so here's the launch fly. And it's really nice. Feels like denim almost and then inside the print is just says uh, Mickey Mouse with the ears and then as usual it's a lounge fly so it costs $75 but I mean with that price tag you get quality so it, it, it makes up for it in the end all right we're gonna head to the uh, Grand California real quick to see the uh, snacks and stuff we'll see how it is over here like, here they're closing on March 16th it's so quiet here and empty we're about to get to the lobby right now but the entrance from downtown Disney to the actual hotel is pretty quiet and dead. So this is the lobby of the Grand California. For those of you who have never been here before, it's really beautiful. And yeah, like you can see the bag there, meaning guests are leaving. Because as I mentioned previously, I think they're closing Monday, March 16th. So that means I don't think anybody's gonna be allowed to be here anymore. We're gonna go to Whitewater Snacks, pick up some brownies. It's like a, what is it? It's like an M&M brownie. It looks like it's like in a recess paper or something, but it's not. But it's super dense. It's very heavy. It's probably a pound, huh? Like easy. Yeah. And it's six fifty. And they also have like a, a Reese's Pieces version of it, but instead of it being a brownie, it's you know, they call it a blondie because it's like white bread and then like peanut butter. Oh, it looks good. I think I'm, I might take like one or two of each because I don't plan on coming here for. A while so yeah oh wow look at that i'm gonna try it 
Wow. It tastes just like a cosmic brownie. I don't know if you ever had them. Who makes them? Like Little Debbie? Something like that. Something like that. You can find them at the grocery store. It's probably not right now. <laughs> but in normal circumstances, you can find them at the grocery store. And they're called the uh, cosmic brownies. They ha it's like a, a thick, like, fudge brownie. Like, well, it's not, like, thick, but it's, like, you know, it's, like, this big. And then um, there's, like, little candy pieces in it. And that's, like, what the M&Ms kind of taste like, except M&Ms are better. But it's really good. And, like I mentioned, they're six fifty, And you can use your annual pass discount here. So that's pretty All good. Right, so this is the Reese's Pieces one. I'm going to go ahead and try this. This one is, like, a lot more dense, I think, than the, uh, the brownie one. So let's go ahead and cut a piece out of it. I cut into it with a knife earlier, and like, it just smelled like like a Reese's, like cutting into a Reese's. Yep, that did what's right. She said this was gonna be the one for me, and it really is. I'm a huge like peanut butter fan. Like I love Reese's, it's probably my favorite chocolate. Uh, maybe like besides uh, Kit Kat and, and Snickers, but Reese's is probably my top one. But like what makes it really good is obviously the Reese's Pieces, but then like whatever like they put on top of it, which I think it's peanut butter, but I'm sure they add stuff to it to make it like creamier, but it's so good. So the brownie and the blondie are both very delicious. I'm not gonna lie, they're both really good. No matter which one you go for, you can't like pick a wrong one. But if you like peanut butter, this one, like hands down, definitely go for that one. And if you like brownie, obviously get that one. And I'm sure with a cup of milk, like, both of these would be, like, even better. But, um, but, yeah, let's go ahead and head back to downtown Disney now. Look, when you leave the hotel, they have the Pro station right here, too. So, like I said, they have a lot of stations to uh, clean your hands at. All right, so Sephora is open. Chamba is open. Uh, Naples is open. Napolini looks open. Pandora is open. Curl Surf is open. Sunglass Icon is open so i was not expecting this starbucks is currently closed there's a sign on the door Ooh, that sucks luckily the uh the first starbucks when you first walk in through downtown disney is open so if you guys didn't know that downtown disney has two starbucks and one of them's open i'm not gonna lie no other store in the, the entire downtown disney matters except the world of disney and they're open of course and they're not closing we just got word from a cast member and I think Monday through Friday, the hours are, no, Monday through Saturday, I think are eight, uh, 10 to 10. So they changed the hours. And then I think today they're closing at 11. This right. Avengers here is kind of cool. It's like gold. I really hope Avengers Camp is still going to be open on uh, July 18th. Some more of the Marvel stuff. This is like foam. Oh, like hard plastic, but it's not. And they have toys. Yeah. Ooh, Captain America's shield. We got Thanos. All right, so last time I was here showing off the uh, Milan merch, these two are here. There's like a plush that looks just like that. And then here's another one with the, uh, the castle in the background. It's a cool pin. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. It's pretty nice. How cool, like they even have Easter socks. It's got bunny ears. And these are snow price. Huh. Oh wait, it's eleven dollars each when you buy two. And regularly they're fourteen ninety nine plus tax. I'm not sure if this is new or not, but it's just like a plain white like pullover with Mickey Mouse on it. It's really cool. It's like vibrant colors. And this costs $49.99. And I think they go up to a size 2X only, which again, um, I'm screwed out on this one because I'm a 3X. Everything else looks to be about the same at World of Disney, so we're gonna head outside and, and check out the Esplanade. I know this is gonna be like the saddest part of the entire trip today, but look at this, it's empty. Somehow the Rise of the Resistance van is still here, but all the ticket booths are closed. The vacation club is still open. I like how they have the music still playing, which is good. But it's just so sad to see it's closed. See, this is where you uh, decide if you want to go to DCA 
or Disneyland. And right now, you can't go to any of them. They're playing the Toy Story song, though, which is making this even more sadder. Wow. So we just got to the uh, gates, and man, it's, it's closed. I mean, I already knew it, but it's just so surreal to see. This reminds me of, uh, you ever seen that movie, The Willy Wonka? In the Chocolate Factory? I think it's the first one, not, not, not the new one with Johnny Depp. And you remember in the beginning when like, when they go to the gates and it's just like closed? That, that's like the kind of vibes I get from this. Cause it's just this big gate. And they're not letting in. Bye Mickey. Kind of weird how this is closed off. This is like fence all around. This is where one takes their picture of, uh, of themselves in the circle. Huh. And this is the look of DCA. It's super close. And all the trash cans are bagged off. So the chairs are like knocked over. It looks like it's like that on purpose because they're all like that. And the trash cans are bagged off. And one of this street is just so empty. It's crazy. Well, as sad as this video was, it's gonna open up in two weeks, hopefully, if everything goes well. So make sure you're washing your hands, you're sanitizing, you're, you're being clean, you're not sniffing other people's sneezes <laughs> or whatever else you can do. Don't handshake, don't do any of that stuff. Let's kill this as fast as we can, let's get back to the parks. But I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.